Hey guys, today we are in East Earl, Pennsylvania at the world's largest buffet. Shady Maples. This place specializes in Pennsylvania Dutch food. We've been here before, but it's been a while. We were headed home. We decided to swing in here for lunch and we're gonna take you with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. As we head into Shady Maple, again, this is a Pennsylvania Dutch restaurant. They are not Amish owned, or does the Amish run this place? A lot of people think this is an Amish buffet. It is not. All right, so let's head up here and pay for our buffet. Hello. How you doing? Lunch menu starts at 10.45. Monday through Thursday breakfast only in September. They have a special deal on this for $9.99 and $5 for children. And your birthday meal is free. So after you pay, you just head over this way and they will seat you. And this is a massive seating area. You get to walk by all these beautiful 3D displays. Like this one with the mill on it. Banquet rooms everywhere in here. Big seating area right back in here. And a banquet room right here to the right. It's pretty good size. All right, let's take a look at the menu here at Shady Maple. There are your hours, 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Your address, if you want to type it into your GPS. Breakfast, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Your prices, a couple dollars more on Saturday. Lunch, that's what we're here for, $17.99 plus a service fee. They have a 12% service fee. That's so you don't have to tip. They already have it averaged in. If you want to, you can tip. It says online, you don't have to. They pay their employees very well. Early birds, Saturday only, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., $25.99 plus service fee. The dinner menu is Monday through Saturday, 4 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Each night they have a different theme. Monday, steak night. Tuesday, seafood. Wednesday, prime rib. Thursday, wing and rib night. Friday's the grand menu and Saturday's the grand menu. And here's our receipt. Two lunch buffets, $42.46. Bobby's gonna tell you what happens if you bring someone with you on your birthday. On your birthday, your meal is free, but it has to be your exact birthday. Unless it falls on a holiday or a Sunday, then you have to come in the very next day and your meal would be free. So we're gonna head up there and look at this buffet, but I went on their website and this is what they wrote about it. Today, being lunch, there's gonna be fried shrimp and smoked beef brisket up there. 46 salad bar items, eight homemade breads and rolls, four soups, six cheeses, eight meats, 14 vegetables, 10 cold desserts, four hot desserts, eight pies, six cakes, and all kind of things to drink. So let's head up there and see what it's all about. So they have all these different rooms in here. Here's another one. Look at the size of this. So if you come here, you don't have to worry about finding the seat, I would say, most of the time. All right, let's take a look. Starting off with baked haddock. There's some marinated chicken breast and fried shrimp. Stuffed chicken and broccoli. Ham balls. And some crispy looking fried chicken. Barbecue pork and some ham over there. Our famous tender roast beef. 
pork and sauerkraut, mashed potatoes, beef and chicken gravy. Let's go around to the other side. On this side, we have seafood croquettes, but it has shellfish in it, bread filling, white rice, and a better look at the ham from this side. Sweet potato bake, buttered noodles, Harvard beets, baked lima beans, and dried corn. Green beans, corn, and mixed vegetables. And one of Bobby's favorites, asparagus. But this grilled shrimp looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to try that. Head on down to the next one. Some hot wings, barbecue wings, beef and vegetable soup. Let's go around and see what others on the other side. Looks like maybe chicken noodle, not sure. Jalapeno poppers, chicken corn noodle, and cheesy broccoli. Now let's take a look at the salad section. They have quite a bit. Up top, cranberry salad, applesauce, peaches, cranberry sauce, and dried cran raisin. Shrimp and crab, cottage cheese, and some chow chow. Cucumber salad, beets, and pickled eggs. Macaroni salad, potato salad, and coleslaw. Shredded cheese, eggs, plenty of salad dressings, croutons, and hot bacon dressing. You guys gotta try that. And a bunch of toppings. We have pickles, green peppers, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, onions, red peppers, and two kinds of salads, and some donuts. Here's the next one. Looks like it's the same as what was up on that end, just more salads. Cream of crab soup. Something Bobby and I have never had. Turkey cacciatore and potato wedges. Let's go to the other side. The French fries and some cheese to put on the fries and chili. Now some of this is gonna be the same, but there's a few different items in each one. There's some barbecue baked beans, carrots on the other side, mac and cheese, stewed tomatoes, baked yams with cinnamon. Carrot souffle, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. There's your carrots and broccoli that I showed you earlier. Looks like it has about the same thing in it. There's your pork and sauerkraut and that roast beef. But this one has roast pork and on this side, roast turkey. The rest of it is the same. And the last one is almost the same as the other one we already showed you, except it has cheeseburger macaroni in it. Now let's take a look at the desserts. Plenty of cakes. There's an eclair dessert, egg custard. That's gonna be rice pudding here in a minute. Black forest, cookies and cream, low carb chocolate pudding, fruit salad. There's some watermelon, blueberries, sugar-free fruit salad, sugar-free jello, and sugar-free coffee mousse. Apple pies. See some red velvet cake in there. Some coconut, banana cake, pumpkin pie. Just all kind of goodies. Here's some cheesecake. And up top there are a lot more pies. At all those different ones. It's like blackberry. Peach. Maybe some pecan pie right there. Can't be in Amish country and not have shoe fly pie. There's some apple pie. Peach cobbler, roasted apples. Apple crisp, cherry cobbler, and apple dumplings. Over on this table, we have some gluten-free chocolate cake. And look at all these toppings for your ice cream. That's just like going to the Dairy Queen. A lot of good toppings there. And beside it, you have whipped cream, 
You can either put your ice cream in a cone or a bowl and vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Let's just show all these drinks. This is all included. Here's what I liked, the birch beer, some tea, coffee, chocolate milk, regular milk. And this is the sweet bar at this end. It's like they had at the other end. It looks like it's all kind of the same. I'll just show you this in case there's something different in there, but there's the rice pudding that was missing at the other end. Orange cream. Can't remember if that was down there or not. And the green plates are sugar-free. Ice cream cake. I've never seen that before. Here. No, we were down there on the other end. There wasn't anything in that little freezer. And the same toppings. This looks the same on this end. So, holy cow, guys. All the way down through there is the buffet. It is huge. And just keep filling it up. Look how they have the cake sitting out here. So when someone takes one, they'll just put another one in. And there's more to drink. Here's some cappuccino. And out here are the condiments. You have all kind of choices. Peanut butter, some lemon, apple butter. There's your pancake syrup. Sweet baby rays, ketchup, boom boom sauce. Sweet relish and horseradish. And another big area of seating. I think we showed you this when we came in. Let's take one more look. And there's more back that way. And they have a carving station here for lunch. Baked potatoes, mushrooms. There's your onions. Now this carving station has some smoked beef brisket. And around to this side, you can get a Philly cheesesteak. They put it right on the bun for you and they have fresh kielbasa. And directly across, tell me what we have in here. Corn fritters, potato cakes, apple fritters, beef hot dogs, fresh steak burgers. Let's just take a look at it. There's your burgers. There's your potato cakes and stuff. Everything looks good. Over here is some pizza. Everywhere I look, there's more food. Pepperoni and cheese. There's your hamburger toppings. Now, right next to the grill is an area with some bread and cheese. There's your apple butter and regular butter. Gourmet apple bread, gourmet raspberry bread. Provolone cheese, Munster, Swiss, and some crackers. Look at them frying all that up in there. And on down here are the rest of the cheeses, because they said they had six of them. Sharp, hot pepper, Amish. Potato and wheat rolls. And some more bread in here. And some cornbread. I think I got it all. I don't know if I missed anything. I could have. And it's filling up, so I'm gonna go get me a plate. All right, guys, here's round one. Got a little bit of everything. That's what I hate about a buffet. You just end up overeating. Here's my plate. Here is Bobby's plate. First round, I went with Brussels sprouts, asparagus, mashed potatoes, and the beef gravy, fried chicken, and chicken and broccoli. And you made it look pretty on that plate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's appetizing that way. Chicken. The broccoli that's on there. It's a nice size piece of That chicken, is. Isn't it? We buy those in the store and frozen. That is very good. The chicken's tender. I like the breading that they put over top of the chicken. I got the leg because I wanted to try some other things. If you get the breast or thigh, it fills you up too much. The chicken, very tender also, juicy. And you can just hear that crunch when I bit into Makes it. me want to go get a piece of that, but I'm gonna skip on that I know, today. I'm surprised you didn't get that. Ah, one. too many other things. And I'm gonna try the asparagus. The asparagus is tender, but still has a crunch to it. So I like that also. 
All right, guys, now before you see what I got, I am going to get some vegetables and a salad and some corn and stuff. It's not just all this, but there's a lot of people up there. So I just got a little bit of a lot of stuff. Pulled pork. There's the ham balls. Got to get that up in Amish country. Some fried shrimp, grilled shrimp, one chicken wing, a piece of ham, and some haddock. I'm just going to go after this shrimp first. Pretty decent size. Butterfly it out. Now this is breaded, not battered, so it's not overly crunchy, but it's decent. Just reminds me of pretty good frozen food shrimp that you get in the stores. Maybe like a sea pack or something. So I do enjoy those. Let's try some of this grilled shrimp. And it's a decent size. Probably a medium, not a large one. That's also pretty decent. I think it was in some butter. I'm getting a little butter flavor out of there. Not a lot of garlic like a scampi, but just maybe a little bit of butter. Let's try this hot one. It's not overly hot, not as crispy as I like them because I like extra crispy wings, but it still is very good. And they have a wing night here also during the week. Try some pork. How the pulled pork is average, it's not bad. It is very tender, but we always say we go to some good pulled pork places. It's gonna be hard to beat. Try some of this haddock. Now the haddock's pretty flaky, but it needs to be seasoned with something. It's just kind of missing something. I don't know what it's missing, but it is decent. Not too bad. Ham balls. I love the ham balls up in this area. Has the pineapple glaze on it. I've had these here before. I know it's going to be good. Now I enjoy that ham ball like I always do when I come here to Shady Maple. I really like the sweet and sour sauce or pineapple glaze that they used on that. Basically just a meatball made with ham. And I've got a slice of ham. I will try that. Next trip, I will get some other items. Maybe some noodles. This is my favorite thing I've tried so far. There's cheese in there. I'm not sure if it's a Swiss cheese or what it is. I'm going to find out. And then the broccoli is very tender. And what did you think about your uh, Brussels sprouts and your mashed potatoes? Those were both very good also. The Brussels sprouts, I think, had a butter coating over them. The mashed potatoes, I put the beef gravy over top of it. You could get chicken if you want it. I know I probably should have got chicken gravy since I'm had all chicken, but I like the beef better. Round two, I went with the salad. They have a nice selection of items to put on your salad, but check out those olives, how big those are. Tomatoes, croutons, got the potato salad, and these are chocolate covered almonds. Do a little sweetness in there. A little bit, yeah. The potatoes are cooked well, they're not hard. It's got some pickles and onions in it with a mayonnaise base. I do like it. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. I'll try one of the chocolate covered almonds. The chocolate is very good, but the almonds are a nice size. You wanna try one, John? I'll try one here in a minute. I gotta head back up and get some more goodies. Big olives, guys. I know Bobby's gonna love those, and there's some pretty good sized mushrooms, but you know what you didn't get? I'm gonna have to get, and I just thought of, that great cucumber salad up there. I did see that up there. They also had a Amish macaroni salad. Maybe I'll get them both. Round number two for me, guys. Got some kibasi, prime rib, and get my noodles. Scalloped corn, I don't know if I've ever tried that before. Here's your cucumber and onion salad, and Bobby was talking about the Amish macaroni salad. I'm gonna try this corn. That's pretty good. It tastes that sweet corn. Plus they put sugar in there and I asked them what else was in here. They said flour. A lot of people, they told me, think that there's scallops in there because it's called scallop corn, but there is not. But I would get that again. Amish macaroni salad. I do like that. Now that is very sweet. Kind of a mustard base. Awesome. Now, I do like that, but I've had a lot better, so I probably wouldn't get that again, but it, it's all right and some prime rib. It's got a little piece of it. Very tender. Now, I think they have that almost every day on the buffet for lunch and dinner. Got my noodles. Can't go wrong with those noodles. Now, these aren't as good as some of the other Amish places around here for the noodles. I always have to get them. And this is something I get every time we come to Shady Maple, a cucumber and onion salad. That always delivers here at Shady Maple. They cut those cucumbers thin. Good flavor of the onions, a hint of vinegar. Well worth it. I'm happy with this round two. Here's my dessert. They had a few pieces of the ice cream cake left, some watermelon, and I got some coffee with my cake. 
I think the middle part of the cake is the best. The coffee goes very well with the ice cream cake. John asked me how it compared to the Dairy Queen cakes. It's pretty good, but I would still pick the Dairy Queen over this one. And the watermelon is probably the best I've had so far this year. Well, one up, got my dessert. Has some orange dream sickle, red velvet cake, chocolate eclair, and one little piece of pineapple. Let's just try this red velvet cake. I think I would pass on the red velvet cake, at least on this one. This one tastes like it's a day old. Maybe it isn't, but it just doesn't taste fresh to me. Chocolate eclair. Oh, I do like that. It's nice and cold on the inside. Get that chocolate flavor on the outside, just like biting into a chocolate eclair donut. And a stream sickle. Now on this one, also, I probably wouldn't get it again. I don't get an abundance of orange flavor, mainly just like whipped cream. So out of these three, this is the best. You should have got some watermelon. I should have. I should maybe five pieces of pineapple. That's some pretty good pineapple. Maybe I should have got pineapple and watermelon and none of this other stuff. Not only is the watermelon the best we've had this year, so is that pineapple. Because we bought some pineapples at the stores, and they've been terrible. Hard as a rock, don't have any flavor. That does, very good. After you pay, they give you this slip. So let's read the instructions on it. Welcome, keep this slip face up to reserve your table during your meal. Flip the slip over when you're finished dining. No tipping, please. Make sure you get a clean plate. Children 10 and under must be escorted by an adult. Eat all the food you would like during your visit, but please do not take food out of the building. And don't forget the gift shop. Well, we are done. We are flipping it over. Throwing in the towel. And I just exited the buffet and there are all kind of people waiting to come in. All right, let's get out of here. This place is packed now. We got here around 10.30. Now it's around noon, and there are hardly any empty seats in this whole place. Even the back rooms are full. And each area has an attendant that comes around and grabs your plates and puts them on that cart, keeps everything going. It's like a well old machine here. I didn't realize there was pop and coffee machines out here in the middle where the tables were. Now we don't have time today to go completely over this area. We keep saying we're gonna come back sometime and do the whole downstairs as a video. Maybe at Christmas, show you everything you have. This is a huge gift shop. They always have some cool Elvis items in here. Jewelry, just all kind of stuff down here, guys. Look at this Christmas section with the Jim Shore items. Some angels. A lot of nativity items. This Last Supper is $90. The one on top is $120. Look these night lights. I have a massive Disney section down there. There's Belle for $200. Beauty and the Beast combo, $115. And Cinderella for $200. My favorite character's always been Snow White. So you like that one. Probably that one back there. I don't want her in a bigger thing like this one. And we've seen those before at the Hallmark store. There's Snow White. Too much to look at. And Elvis is usually back over in this section. Let's see if we can find him. Some Marilyn Monroe. There's a section on Elvis. Right next to him, have some Beatles items. I love Lucy. John Wayne. And clear at the bottom. 
Johnny Cash. Have to show this sign. Complaint department push for service. It's around one o'clock and the place is getting busy and this is a weekday. Can't imagine what this place looks like on the weekends. Well, we just left Shady Maple after having lunch. What did you think about it, Bobby? It's almost overwhelming when you come here because there's so many different food items to choose from. I enjoyed the chicken with the broccoli inside of it. I never did find out what cheese was in that. The salad bar was probably my favorite because of those big olives. It had the cherry tomatoes, mushrooms. Everything was very fresh on that. The fruits that they had, the watermelon was delicious. Back home in West Virginia, you, you can't get good watermelon, nope. can you? A lot of fruit. It's either hard or mushy. So I really did enjoy that. There's a downstairs gift shop. There's also an elevator on the side that you do not have to take all those stairs. Now this can be a dangerous place to come, especially if you're hungry, because you can way overeat here. Everything here is pretty decent. There wasn't one thing that stuck out to me except the fruit. The fruit was outstanding. Everything else was average or a little better. So it's definitely worth the $20. We showed you what they have every day for dinner. If there's one of those that you'd like for us to come in and do, let us know. And if we're back up in this area, we'll try that. But I always enjoy coming to Shady Maple. I also love the downstairs. They have that huge gift shop. We're gonna have to come back and do a video just on that. Well worth the trip. So if you go away hungry, it's nobody's fault but yours. Remember the drinks are included in that price. You have the beautiful fountains behind us around the side with some fish to look at and some nice pictures inside, the 3D mm -hmm. pictures. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. <laughs>